Hello kids, we're already in our English 4, quarter 3, week 6, with the title, Inferring the Speaker's Tone, Mood, and Purpose. Are you ready to learn? Let's go! At the end of this lesson, you are expected to infer the speaker's tone, mood, and purpose. Let's have a drill! Read the sentences and identify the mood by writing the letter of the correct answer. Number 1. What a place! Cockroaches everywhere! Cobwebs and dust thick enough to plant potatoes in! A. Excitement B. Appreciation C. Joy D. Disgust Number 2. Only one peso? What can I buy with that these days? A. Discontent B. Curiosity C. Honesty D. Grateful Number 3. That was a close fight. I'm glad that our team won. You were marvelous on the court, boys. A. Jubilation B. Displeasure C. Caution D. Excitement Number 4. You are always late for work. You don't even finish half of what you are assigned to do. You might be fired. A. Assurance B. Threat C. Fear D. Plea Number 5. Say good morning to sister. May reminds her younger sister. May wants her sister to be A. Polite B. Honest C. Helpful D. Brave Number 6. Celso was playing with his pet dog. Suddenly, it ran to the middle of the road. A. Joy B. Worried C. Sad D. Brave Number 7 a speeding truck passed by and left his dog limping by the roadside. Oh, my dog is hurt. A. Joy B. Gratefulness C. Pity D. Anger Number 8 it was Cara's birthday and Helen gave her a box with yellow ribbons. She said, Thank you for this wonderful gift. A. Pity B. Joy C. Sorrow D. Concern Number 9 Fe was busy cleaning their house for the coming fiesta. She was arranging everything in the storeroom when suddenly she saw something black inside the broom box. She shouted, Oh, there's a big snake in the broom box. A. Angry B. Hungry C. Concerned D. Frightened
Number 10. I wonder where Father and Arthur are. Their boat is out of sight. A. Angry B. Hungry C. Concerned D. Frightened What's your score? Now let's have a review from our past lesson. Arrange the events to form a story. Write each event in the appropriate box in the chart. Be guided with the signal words. You may pause this video to answer this review. Are you done? Let us answer! First, one evening, Theodora went to sleep without fixing her school things. While she was sleeping, she was interrupted by some noises. Next, those were her school things. The bag, books, notebooks, pens, and papers. They all came alive. Then, her school things were mad for not fixing them. Finally, Theodora asked forgiveness from school things and promised to take care of them. Suddenly, she opened her eyes realizing everything was just a dream. What's your score? Let's read. The Lion and the Mouse One day, a lion was sleeping in the forest. A little mouse was looking for something to eat. She ran over his paw. The lion opened his eyes then roared at the mouse and put his paw over her. I will eat you, he cried. I didn't know it was you, said the mouse. Please let me go. Someday I will help you. Foolish mouse, said the lion, what a little thing like you can do. I am strong, so how could you ever help me? The lion left, but let the mouse go. He did not think the little mouse could ever help him. Soon after, the lion was running into the forest. He ran into a trap. The trap was a net made of rope. The lion tried to break the net, but the rope was strong. The mouse saw the lion in the net. She said, I will help you. It was hard to chew the strong rope. The mouse bit and chewed for a long time. At last, she chewed the rope enough so that the lion could break the net. You have saved my life! Thank you! roared the lion as he walked away into the forest. A little mouse can help after all, said the mouse. Did you like the story? Now let's answer the following questions. What did the lion do in the forest? Why did the lion want to eat the mouse? What did the mouse promise to the lion? Did the lion think the mouse will fulfill his promise to him? Why? What happened to the lion later? How did the mouse help the lion? What lessons can be derived from the story? What do you think is the tone of the story? What do you think is the mood conveyed in the story? What do you think is the writer's, speaker's purpose for writing the story? Inferring the speaker's tone, mood, or purpose may be done by determining the purpose of the author in writing selection. What is tone? A tone expresses the attitude the author has towards the subject or topic of the poem. Examples, hopeful, 
affectionate, angry, impatient. For example, I only have 5 pesos. How can I ride the jeep if the fare is 9 pesos? We can say that the tone conveyed here is worried. What is mood? A mood is an atmosphere or the emotion that arouses in a reader. It can be based on the characters, setting, or plot of the story. Examples, lonely, happy, scary, thankful. Example for this, Lena was walking in the dark alley. Suddenly, a man appeared in front of her. We can say that the mood of the story is scary. What is purpose? Purpose is the reason an author writes about a topic. There are three kinds of author's purpose. To inform, to give information about the subject like encyclopedias and magazines. To entertain, to amuse or delight like fairy tales and comics. And to persuade, to convince the reader like editorial and top 10. So what is the purpose of the story that we read earlier? Yes, you are right. It is to entertain the reader because this is a fable story. Practice 1A. Base your answer to the story you have just read. Choose the best word that completes each sentence. 1. The lion roared at the mouse put his paw over her and said, I will eat you. The lion was A. Playful B. Powerful C. Tearful The answer is 2. The mouse was blank of the lion. A. Scared B. Mad C. Ashamed The answer is 3. The lion laughed and said, I am strong. How could you ever help me? The lion thought the mouse was A. Careless B. Friendly C. Serious The answer is 4. The lion tried to break the net, but the rope was strong. The lion felt A. Careless B. Friendly C. Helpless The answer is 5. You saved my life. Thank you, said the lion to the mouse. The lion was A. Cheerful B. Thankful C. Thoughtful The answer is Practice 1B. Infer the mood of the following utterances. Choose your answer inside the box. Evelyn was chosen to be Miss Grade 4 because she was a smiling face. Everyone was happy for her except Linda. Linda was muttering something behind Evelyn's place. The audience was full of admiration for Evelyn's beauty and wit. Evelyn went home contented. Reminder, you may pause this video to answer this practice. Are you done? Let's answer. Here are the answers. Practice 2A. Select the proper word from the box that tells how the person saying the lines. Really? You won in the Eurasian contest? Son, 
I'm really proud of you. Pleased. What in the world is that? It looks like a man with a helicopter cap. Curious. I don't know what to do. Please, I beg you. Only you can help me. Desperate. There I am, talking to my handsome crush. He smiled at me and whispered in my ears, Your zipper is open. Oh my, I started to melt. Embarrassed. What? There's still no electricity out there? I cannot stand staying in this far-flung barrio without TV or radio. Bored. Practice 2B. Choose the letter of the word which tells what the reader feels. 1. Leave me alone. You always give me headaches because of your stubbornness. A. Sad. B. Happy. C. Angry. The answer is... 2. Yes, yes, I did it. My parents will be proud of me. A. Sad. B. Happy. C. Angry. The answer is... 3. Thank you for helping me. Thanks for being a shoulder to lean on. You are an angel sent by God from heaven. A. Helpfully. B. Stubbornly. C. Gratefully. The answer is... And where did you get this lovely pair of eyes, my little angel? Of course, from me, your good-looking father. Ha ha! A. Sadly. B. Curiously. C. Teasingly. The answer is... 5. Don't worry. I know you can do it. Just practice a lot. You'll see. A. Curiosity. B. Hopefully. C. Encouragingly. The answer is... For the evaluation, infer the speaker's tone, mood, or purpose. Write the letter of the correct answer. 1. Oh God, I pray that you take care of her. She is the only one I have. A. Trilled. B. Lonely. C. Anxious. D. Joy. Two, I will work and study hard. In those ways, my parents will be proud of me. A. Lazy. B. Glad. C. Rude. D. Determined. Three, Dan looked at his guardians with sparkling eyes. He couldn't forget their kindness. A. Grateful B. Sad C. Amazed D. Loving Oh Dan, your aunt's operation was a success! A. Supportive B. Happy C. Anxious D. Proud Five. Gosh, it's so dark. Please, help me. A. Scared B. Glad C. Proud D. Sad Six. Yippee! I won the game! A. Joyful B. Mad C. Rude D. Lonely Seven. Please accept my apology. I just don't mean what I said. A. Sad B. 
shocked, C. glad, D. sorry. Eight. What? Is it true? Jane won the race? A. Joyful. B. Surprised. C. Assertive. D. Loving. Nine. No, I don't want any tea or food. I don't even want to see your beautiful dance. Just give me a present to take home with me. A. Angry B. Rude C. Selfish D. Ungrateful Ten. Old man, why didn't you take the heavier chest? We could have gotten as twice as many jewels and gold. You are silly to have chosen the smaller and lighter ones. A. Greedy B. Honesty C. Untrustworthy D. Ungrateful What is your score? Type down in the comment section your score so that I will know. Congratulations! Thanks for watching. This is Teacher Jean and see you next week.